Hi, my name's Tom. I was sent this clever device in exchange for an honest review, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. This little device is actually a cordless, wireless, battery-powered tire air pump. You can see how bright it is. All of your information is here on the screen, and then you have a little control panel here. These are rubberized buttons. They are tough. They're not. They're actually waterproof, so you're not going to get any dirt or water in there. The way this thing works, it's a nice, easy way to actually inflate your tires without having to worry about a cord running from here to your cigarette lighter or going to a convenience store and finding an air pump. This thing has everything that's included with it right here in this little package. So let's talk about what you get. You do get the pump itself. It's turned on right now. You can see it's nice and bright. The LED screen is nice and big. You do get this actual pump hose. The way this works, it screws into the top. You get a charging cord. So if you want to charge it in your car, you put this end in the cigarette lighter, the other end into the bottom of the pump unit. You also get a USB charger. You can charge it this, this way as well. You've got USB-C on one side and USB-A on the other. And again, you can go ahead and you can charge it up that way as well. You get a bunch of different uh, little nozzles depending upon what you're blowing up. You get a little uh, pin for, for basketballs and for soccer balls. And then you get a couple other in there. And then you also obviously get the air pump instructions. Okay, so how's it work? Well, you take your hose and you just screw it into the top. It's nice and bright there. It just screws in. Now I'm ready to go. The way this works is you actually put it on and you squeeze it to kind of tighten it onto the stem of your car tire. Now, you obviously have different needles on this. You can go ahead and put it in for soccer balls, bike balls, uh, bike tires, basket, uh, boy, motorcycle tires, anything you want. You just go ahead and use the appropriate valve. And then here's the cool part. With this screen, you can set how high you want the air pressure to be. So right now I'm on car and it's a zero right now, but it's PSI. Zero is how much it's actually measuring. So this thing will measure your PSI as well, and I'll show you all that in a second. You can change modes with the mode button. There is, looks like motorcycle there. I'll click on that. That's bicycle right there, and then that is uh, like sport ball, soccer ball. Now, the way this works is you can also go ahead and press and hold down the mode button to change the modes. Right now, it's bar. I don't want bar. I want PSI. So there we go, PSI for a soccer ball. And you can set what you want it to be set at. So by default, it'll have something like 8 or 7. But you can hit plus and minus, And you can up and down. You can add how much you want. So maybe I give a soccer ball that is a, it's a girl's soccer ball. So it has a slightly lower PSI. So it defaults to 8. I want to make it to 6.5 PSI. Now when I plug this into the soccer ball and I run the pump, it will pump up to 6.5 and, and it will stop. It will not overinflate. That's the great thing about this. You don't have to worry about checking and measuring, going back and forth. It will not overinflate. It'll stop when it gets to it. So let's actually see this thing in action. I know that this tire is a little low right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my, uh, in my little nozzle here. I have it turned on. I have it on car. I have it on PSI. I'm going to plug it in. I can hear the air. I'm going to close it up there. And what do I have? I have 31.5 right there. So it automatically reads how much air that I have. When I turn this on, let's see here. Let's go, uh, what we got here? Car, we'll go up to 36. These tires should go to 36, but maybe I only want to go to 35 right now. I'll go to 35. When I'm ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button again. Now it's pumping up. It's actually not that loud either. It's relatively quiet compared to some pumps I've had, but you'll see this will slowly start to rise. There we go. There we go. That only took a couple minutes to go ahead and fill this tire back up to 35, which is what I set it at. There are some other neat features about this. Uh, one, there's an SOS button. You can press it. You get a, a light. You get a red light. You press it again. You get a flashing light. I'll turn it back off. So that's if you're in an emergency, you're stuck on the side of the road, and you want to go ahead and signal people, you can use that, and it'll blink forever. Again, this is a giant battery. So what you can also do is you can also plug in your uh, you can charge your phone, you can charge other devices. 
Use a USB, you plug in the USB, the other one into the back of your phone, and it will charge it. It's a giant battery with a pump in it. That's all there is to it, but it's really, really helpful. You wanna be a real star? You take this thing to your kid's soccer game or basketball game, and you can just walk around with this thing, filling up all the soccer balls, all the basketballs, whatever you want. No cords, no hand pumps, no wacky you know, struggling with trying to get the needles in. You just put a needle in this, you go ahead and put it on 8 PSI, hit a button, and it'll blow the balls up in no time at all. This thing is just so convenient and so great to have. When your battery power starts to get low, no problem at all. Again, you can charge it up. Either you can plug it into your cigarette lighter while you're driving your car, and you can plug the other end into the back of the unit itself. Again, right here. Just plug it in while you're driving around. Have your car go ahead and charge this thing back up. If you don't want to do that, again, you have a little USB thing. You plug the USB cord into a USB charger. You plug this other side, USB-C, into the USB-C port, and you can charge it up in your house. It takes about three or four hours to charge initially. Um, it, came, it comes out of the box charged, but once you've actually depleted it, it takes about three or four hours to charge it back up, and then you can drive around with this thing in your car for easily six months before you even have to bother checking it. This is just a really handy tool to have around. Uh, it's great for new drivers or people who just got a new car. It's wonderful for anyone who's ever gotten stuck on the side of the road before. Uh, it is a wonderful tool. It's a flashlight. It will charge your phones. It will charge your other devices. It can obviously inflate your tires. That's the whole point of this thing. It will hold a charge for months and months and months. It really is a really handy tool and I highly recommend it. Commend it.